Hi everyone, in this video I will show to you how that you can use the Splash Pro brushes to create amazing water brushes in your compositions. Let's go there. Here we have an image where in the composition I have as a subject a gin bottle in a gradient background. Here I have two folders. The first one is the bottle folder and the second one is the background. Okay, to create a splash using the Splash Pro brush, the first one that I need to do is here I will create a new layer, solid color layer. In the solid color layer window, I will select a so dark gray color tone and the next step I will invert the mask selecting pressing the Ctrl more I for the PC users and for Mac users I need to use common more the letter I. After that I need to go to the brush panel. Here my Splash Pro brushes SP, Splash Pro Wine, Splash Pro Coffee, Splash Pro Milk, Chocolate, Paint, Juice and Water. Here I need to press to open my folder where is my brushes for water and I will select one. Okay, I will select this one and right now I need to reduce my Splash Pro size using the bracket keys. The left bracket key can I reduce my brush? Okay. Here I will select the position and before I need to check if my foreground color is white and if my opacity for my brush tool is 100% and the flow 100% too. Then I will put in this position, I will click here, okay, and I have right now the first step to create my splash. Look that here I have no necessary selection or anything like that. The next step that I need to do is exchange the blend mode from normal to luminosity. After this, can I use the for the PC users control more G or for Mac users command more G. And I will clip the second layer in the first one. For this, I need to press for PC users the ALT or option for the Mac users. And between the two layers, I will press here to clipping the second layer in the first one. And here, I will click in the mask and I will press option for Mac users and ALT for PC users. And here I need to go to image, adjustments and levels. And levels, I need to close more the blacks to the right direction. Okay, after this, I need to exchange here the blend mode from luminosity to multiply. And one more time, I need to duplicate this layer and I will do the same process to clip the new layer and the first one. And here I need to exchange the color to a lightning gray color like that. Okay. And I will invert my mask using for the PC users control more I or for Mac users command more I. And I need to exchange the blend mode of this layer from multiply to difference. Okay, right now I have my splash. I need to adjust sometimes the opacity or the fill of my layers like that if I need that the brightness of my splash need 
less or more in this direction, uh, reducing the opacity or the fill, I will decrease. If I put more, I will increase the brightness in my brush or in my splash. Okay, right now I need to create a new folder with all of these layers. And can I write here splash one zero one? Okay, look that the shape of my splash I need to remove, for example, I need to remove, for example, this area of my splash. Isn't a problem because can I use this folder and I need to create a mask here and with my pen can I select the area that I don't like that be shown in my splash, okay? And right now I can select this area here. I will select with my right button to create a selection, make a selection, and I will type here one pixel of radius. Okay, when I make this, I need to select the second color using the control for PC or command it to uh, Mac users and I will delete this area. Okay, no problem. Right now I have, right now I have my splash here. To draw a second one is so easy because one time that I have my folder with all of the, the layers, I just need to use the Ctrl J for PC users or Command J to Mac users and I will duplicate my folder. One time that I duplicate my folder, I just need to uh, turn this one all black and I can do this, checking if the second color is black and press for PC users Ctrl, more, backspace or to Mac users Command, more, delete. Okay, I will repeat the same one in the each others, including this one. In this case, I will fill with the white color, use the Alt, more, backspace to PC users or option, more, delete for Mac users. Okay, and right now, one time that I have uh, like resetted all the layers here, I just need to select one more, another one, for example, like that. Okay, I will reduce the size of my brush, okay? And one time that I can use the brush settings to exchange the direction, for example, the rotation, and I can paint in my mask here, in the first one, for example, here, okay. Then I just need to do the same one that I did before, like duplicate, press option for Mac users or Alt for uh, PC users and press hold and rest to here and I will duplicate my mask. Right now I need to press Alt or Option and I need to adjust again the levels and I need to close the blacks moving the slider to the right side. OK. And one more time I need to duplicate the same mask here to the another one and here I will invert again. And right now I have two splashes here. Look, in a zoom I need to check if all of my splashes it's okay. The finishment it's okay. 
Look, I have here a blue gradient in my background. If I exchange the colors of my gradient, for example, if I put here right now a green tone, look that the automatically my splash here interact with the background colors and the same one with the foreground colors. Look, this area, I have a gray here and I have a blue here. Then my splash interact exactly with each one color that have in my composition. It's amazing because if I exchange the background, the splash automatically will interact with this color because the transparency of this kind of liquid, in this case, is a water, will interact every time with the colors that compose the ambient in this sand. Then, if I exchange here to the color of my second one, gradient in the composition for example if i exchange here the color from blue to green and the same one here to green okay and i will go back to my sand okay look that in the area where I have green, my splash interact with the green. Where I have blue, my splash interact with the blue. Where I have gray or black, my splash interact with each other colors. This is the way to create amazing and so realistic splashes using Splashes Pro in the this case, water splashes. How you saw, it's so easy right now, create water splashes using Splashes Pro. In the next one, I will show how that you can create so amazing milk and paint splashes or chocolate using the Splashes Pro. I see you there.